Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a DIY slash upcycling of some of my mom's old jeans. So I don't know when these jeans are from. I'm guessing like early 2000s probably because I've been sitting in the work clothes bin for quite a while, I believe. So these jean shorts are like, they're like cutoffs. So they definitely used to be jeans and... I just want to make them fit me because I don't have very many pairs of good jean shorts that fit me and we're coming up on summer so I'm going to try to do it before I actually spend any money on jeans to upcycle. I want to make sure I can do it with a pair that I don't really care about. I can just throw away if it doesn't work. So these, they're like an ugly length first of all and they have the button up fly so Maybe not the best thing, but they are very high-waisted, so I appreciate that. So, um, on the back, they are definitely um, a lot too big for me in the waist. So, I'm going to be taking darts out of the waistband on each side and moving the pockets. But I saw this on TikTok. I don't remember who it was. If I can find it, I will link it below or put their ad or something. But um, you can take off the pockets by just taking them off on the outside and once you do your darts you can shift them so that your pockets um, are still in the same spot but they line up and they're not like gapping giantly from the darts so I'm gonna put these on for you guys and see how they look on me I know they look very bad so we're just not gonna judge that um, I will be cutting them too of course but I want to show you guys how they look, um, basically how much I'm going to be taking out of them. And then I will put them on inside out and start pinning the darts, I guess. Or maybe I'll take the pockets off first. I don't know. We'll see. Here they are. Um, can't even see them. I'm like backing up. I'm all the way at the wall now. There we go. They are atrociously long. I do not think I could wear these out. I would probably probably rather not wear pants out than wear these. Um, they are really big also, so hopefully I will be able to take them in that much. Um, like the back is fine. I don't really like the buttons on the front, but that's okay. So hopefully they're going to end up like around this long, like a normal shorts length that's good for summer, not good for whatever this is good for. Working, I guess. Um, and hopefully I will be able to scooch the pocket so that the darts don't really inhibit pocket functionality, you know, if they're like gapping. So I'm going to take some pictures of these and then I guess I'll get started taking off the pockets. So the first thing I'm doing is just seam ripping around this edge here and this edge here so that the pockets will stay evenly in place but I'll be able to fold them back to sew the darts and make sure everything is even and also I can realign them so that they're not flapping out when I've taken away material here so I'll be back once I do that here's what it looks like so far so I need to pull out the extra threads here but they are very very um, light washed apparently but that doesn't matter because it's going to be covered under the pocket anyway just um, in the dart so I need to flip these inside out and put them on so that I can pin the darts and kind of see where they are and then I'll take them off again and start to even them out but I am going to put them on over my leggings because it's really cold down here so I will show you guys when I'm done pinning but basically, I'm just going to go around and just see, like, how much I need to take in and pin it like that and then try to even it out after. Excuse the holes in the walls. <laughs> we are getting windows put in um, in the basement, but I could not pin it on myself. I'm going to either have to have my mom do it or um, just measure like I have here. So I measure that I need to get rid of about this much material in total just fold it over I was just pulling it to see how much I needed to take out to make them fit so I'm gonna try to measure this and then see if I can get rid of that much in darts on two sides instead of just one this one is very off-center I just wanted to see like generally how much so I will pin it um, with the two and then 
hopefully I can get it even and then I'll try them on to see if that fits and then I'll go to sewing them. So I, I've never done darts before so this is definitely not um, an exact science so I wouldn't take this as a tutorial. This is more of a testing out this thing I saw on TikTok to see if it works. And so I will be back I guess once I pin these and hopefully they will fit. So here are what the shorts look like. Um, I pinned in the darts. They are definitely a little loose, so the darts are going to have to go down all the way to the bottom of the pockets, I think. Um, but they seem to fit pretty well. I think I'm going to loosen up the darts just a little bit because I don't want to be pulling them on and be ripping off the stitches that I'm putting in. So I'm going to loosen them up just a tad, and then I'm going to pin them down so that they go down to here so that they're not just, like, super baggy everywhere. Although I do like baggy shorts. I don't want them to be, like like this. So I'm going to work on that and then I'll be back to sew them. So I don't really know what I'm doing here, but I want to show you the darts that I pinned in before I sew them. Chances are I'll probably be taking them out again, um, but here's one and here's the other. So I'm kind of just going to wing it. Um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, that, that was decently rough because I kind of forgot that our sewing machine is just a little broken. It doesn't really work super well right now, um, but here's what the dart looks like. So I'm probably going to have to go over it and reinforce it, but here's what it looks like through, and I think it looks pretty good. Like, this lines up well, and we can just imagine the pocket going over it. So it'll line up almost to the edge, which I think is perfectly fine. So I'm very excited to try these on, because I actually think it looks, it looks really good. It just looks like a general seam in jeans although the belt loops are kind of close so I'm gonna go ahead and sew the other dart and then I will try these on so I think this dart might be a little bit of a different shape than the other one but I don't really care these are really just tester jeans but um, here's what they look like okay it doesn't look that bad um, this one does look a little shorter but honestly whatever so I'm gonna try them on and then I will work on pinning the pockets back on where they need to go um, and kinda just generally working with them I think we might have success wow I'm not doing up all the buttons cuz I just don't feel like it but wait okay maybe flappy pockets should be a style do we do we do this? is this a thing? Okay, just imagine the pockets like that, and I don't have a mirror down here, but I actually think they might fit. So I'm going to go find a mirror and take a better look at them, but I think this might work, so I don't know. So I got a little ahead of you guys, sorry, um, I put the pockets back on. Here's what it looks like. Um, I looked in the mirror with them on and actually they look pretty good. There is going to be a wrinkle down here just because of the nature of sewing and darts. There's like, I couldn't continue them forever. So there will be a little wrinkle down like where the dart ends. But honestly, I'm not mad about it. I think this project has turned out really well so far. So now what I need to do is put them on and kind of generally mark how short I'd like them to be. Um, I have no idea, so I think I'm going to go compare them to some of the jean shorts that I have in my closet. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this so far. So I'm going to put them on and just test them compared to my other jean shorts, and I will be back when I choose a length. So I matched them up to my current favorite pair of shorts, and really I found out that I have no idea what I'm doing here. So I'm definitely going to cut them long just in case. I've only cut off a pair of jeans to make them shorts once, and it turned out pretty well. But who knows? There's always always time to do it wrong. So I don't really know what to do. I think I might just cut them off straight and then kind of angle them afterwards. There's probably a right way to do this. I don't know what it is, so I'm going to lay these out and try to at least cut them evenly. Okay, drum roll please for the final reveal. Of course, I'm going to take off my under leggings because 
it's not very attractive I don't think so I'm gonna just show you I might have cut them too short I'm not really sure yet I really like them this is kind of exactly what I was looking for for this summer um although now that I look at it this one is a little longer so I'm gonna have to fix that so maybe it's not the final product it's the almost final product here's the back I mean they don't look anything special but what they look like before so much better so I really like this project um I would recommend it so yeah I'm gonna even these out and go take some pictures so thank you guys so much for watching I had a lot of fun making this it was super quick and I took really ugly jeans and made them into something pretty cool so yes like I said I would recommend this project make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I'll see you guys later bye